I thought I would paint the head of a cardinal. I've had a couple of people ask me lately about uh, uh, birds, and I think uh, I think this would be a good one to uh, to work on. So I'm just going to take my my pencil. I'm just going to focus on the head right now. So sketching it in, trying to get my drawing accurate. Draw lightly so you can easily erase. Don't be in a hurry to get your drawing done. Um, it's important to get it as accurate as you can because it's too hard to try to change it and also sometimes almost impossible to change it once you start to start putting paint down. So I'm just kind of trying to finesse this a little bit more. Looking at the shape, this goes downhill a little bit more than I've got, so let's just kind of curve that down. This is the time to catch all your mistakes, all the areas that you uh, don't quite have the way you want. That's pretty, that's pretty close. Let's just kind of go with that. Okay, so. Let's start with the the reds. So I'm gonna go with the cadmium red medium. That's what that looks like. Might put a touch of cad orange with it just for some variety in there. Before I start, I'm just looking at taking one last glance here at my pencil. Okay. That's a little better. Okay, cadmium red with a touch of cadmium. Cadmium red medium with a touch of uh, cadmium orange with it. I'm going to fan that out, get a nice effect here. The areas around the beak and are black, so I don't worry. I'm not worried about getting the red over top my pencil line where those colors are, where those dark colors are gonna be. Again, we're gonna concentrate on the, uh, on the head, not the rest of the body. Put a touch of lemon, or uh, yeah, a touch of lemon yellow in here now where it's kind of warm. Again, I'm not worried about uh, going over the areas that are going to be black. And where it's really quite dark down at the bottom of the body here, I'm going to add a little more violet. Some ultramarine blue and some quinacridone violet. That will help create that roundness to the body. And I'll play up here with some of those same values too, just to break up so it's not just a flat value. I'm going to use those same colors. Just give a little bit of texture. Just something like that. 
So I've got the reds and the oranges all going over top where the blacks are going to be. Now let's, uh, while that's drying, let's go to the uh, to the beak. The beak seems to push it more towards the uh, orange color, um, and there is a strong highlight on it too. So we'll uh, try to leave that in. Okay, now while those two areas are wet, I'm going to take clear water and hit the edges so they'll give me a nice soft blend and create that highlight on the beak right there. There's a little dark value right there. This is a smaller brush, but I still I got it fanned out. So now I'll go back to the beak. Let me make sure that top half of the beak is dry. And we'll kind of repeat those steps on the bottom half. Again, clear water before that dries. Just hit that edge. And that gives us those nice, bright, hot spots on there. Take my small brush and uh, create this separation between these two halves of the beak. Okay. On my reference, the eye is pure black, um, and we're going to stay with that. So let's get in there and let's do that. Let's uh, take, I'll take straight Payne's, Payne's Gray. Nice sharp contrast. Um, Yeah, I fan the brush out. Go around that eye. Just lightly fanned out. I'm about to go to a bigger brush in a minute here. That's a, let's just keep picking away here. Got a bigger brush now. I've got like an eight round brush. Um, I can get in here faster and fill it in quicker. Then when I get to some delicate areas or close areas around the beak, and um, I'll go back to my smaller brush that I have more control of. But right now, the bigger the brush, the, uh, the fewer strokes, the fresher, the more spontaneous the whole thing is going to look. All right, let's go back to my small brush. So I'm going to fan this small brush out and have this texture come over top of the beak. It doesn't happen up here because that black is on the other side of the beak. But right here, we can uh, kind of play with that. Also down in here, which is really kind of fun, just come on and kind of flick this, uh, this in here. The highlight's just a little bit too big. Let's go a little smaller with it. I 
And I think just to give a little more attention to the eye, I think I'm gonna come in here with a damp brush. Just loosen up the bottom half of that eye. And tap it on my paper towel and pull a little bit more. Now the eye seems to stand out a lot more, and I think that helps. and a little titanium white. And I'm gonna add a little color to that titanium white just to define the eye a little bit on the bottom half. I've got a value there, but it's popping out a little too much. I think that helped it a little bit. So that's how I would paint a head of a cardinal. I hope it's been helpful, thanks.